Welcome back to Chronos Plays Octopath Traveler 2. Today, we're still Perticio, and you're the person... Why do you look familiar? Oh, you're the medicine man. Yeah, right, we're going to get medicine for our dad, but he's clearly dying because he has a cough. So he's not going to be around much longer. That's not bad. It's not really worth the money. I can't afford to... What? Oh, okay. Hi, can I buy some stuff from you? You are the apothecary. You look like the lady from uh, Casty's stuff. The one that maybe was all in her head? <laughs> maybe not, I guess. No, you had a. she had a different shade of skin, didn't she? Similar hairstyle, though. Howdy there, fellas. Getting on well? Probably not. Boss, got any work for us? For you, jokes or jokers? No. None of us have had a job for days. We can't even afford a decent meal. Define decent, because if you can afford to eat, that's still pretty good. I'm not saying that's how you should live, honestly, but... Like... Yeah, I don't know. This town's done for. There are some people out there that can't We've afford food, everything. so if you're eating, that still sucks. Obviously, if you're not getting a job, but I don't know. Define decent, find right? A way to make this last measly crust of bread keep me going. Okay, so it's just bread. That's yeah, that's awful. Hey, boss, you got a job for me? Any job? Sorry, I, I want to hire you, but I don't got the leaves. It's hard to make a living with that silver mine now. The landowner's laws are You should probably dry. leave. Damn. What are we supposed to... Leave. Harry, that's my crust. Give it back. Shut up. I'm taking it. I've got mouths to feed, too. That's enough. Here, I'll split my bread. It ain't much, but it'll tide you over. Boss, I... <sighs> Damn. Sorry, Harry. Sorry, Nikki. It's my fault. I mean, for no offense. Don't apologize to, like, Harry, though. Like... Don't do that. You don't steal. Like, if you're all suffering, you're gonna steal from each other? That's fucked up. He's got miles of feet, Chronos. Yeah, I'm sure Nikki does, too. Like, Jesus. You don't steal. If you're all in the shit house, don't steal from each other. You steal from the rich. Chronos, I'm just saying, don't steal from yourself. Like, if you're all in a fucking shit, you're stealing another person's minor shit? No, don't do that. If only I could make things better. If only I could look out for you. Never imagined it end up like this. I did! Kinda differently, though. I never knew what a devil poverty was. Or how much pain it could bring. Oh, no, it's absolutely horrible. <sighs> Don't worry about it. We'll figure out some... Harry, shut your fucking mouth! Boss, it's not your fault. It's not Particio's fault, for sure. Damn, you're pathetic. Look at you cry. This gif. Now stop with the waterworks and pony up the leaves, bucko. Gif. As if today couldn't get any worse. Smart of you to toady up to that leech of a landowner. The most important thing in life is figuring out whose side to take, bucko. I mean, that's unfortunately fucking true. You haven't forgotten that contract from 16 years back now, have you? A merchant like you should understand the power of a flimsy piece of paper. What do you want, Gif? I got a message from our benevolent landowner. Tax on silver's going up. Lucky you. 
I think it's time to just fucking leave. A lot of competition in the silver trade lately. Actually, before you leave, Old destroy everything in the mine. Down, down, down. Hurts the boss's kindly old heart. Also, stab this. Gif. But times are tough. You think we'll stand for that? You ain't getting another leaf out of us. Yeah, we're all struggling just to eat. Hmm, getting rebellious, eh? Let's say we burn down this entire town. We made it. Let's destroy it. In this world, there are those who squeeze and those who get squeezed. You idiots are the latter. Shoot him in the nuts. We got a bow, right? You're nothing but lemons to me. Your job is to get squeezed into lemonade. So you probably should hit him now, Particio. You. You. Though uh, none of you can afford to buy lemons anymore, can you? <laughs> Listen up, bucko. Next time I come to collect, I'm taking a bigger We should time. seriously just destroy the mine and the town. But legal, Kronos. Fuck them. <laughs> I didn't say I was lawful neutral. Boss. <sighs> Damn it. No, like, seriously, let's fucking destroy... We gotta have some TNT around here. Blow up the fucking mine. Do you have anything? Old clock? I'm buying that. Yeah, blow up the mine. Burn the houses down. Then y'all can just move. You're still gonna be poor either way, right? Fuck them. You destroy everything they have. You still alive? Hey, Pops. Uh, I'm back. Something happened? I've never seen you look so dispirited. Uh, do you not know what's going on? I thought you had an idea of what was happening. Uh, nothing. Nothing at all. Particio. I won't pretend to know what's got you down. But here's a word of advice. If you made it, you can destroy it? Why not just go for it? Do whatever it is you want to do most. Like destroy the mine and all the houses here so they can't profit off it. <sighs> oh, and set pit traps so when they come in the town, they fall into spikes. But you'll never win either. Huh. That settles it. I'll be back in two shakes of a Kate's whisker, Pops. Thanks for the advice. <laughs> Kid's face lit up like a miner's lantern. Okay. okay? What are we doing? <sighs> it's all over for us. Uh, they're gonna squeeze us until we're dry as the desert sand. So leave! Or set Fellas, pit traps so up. they fall into those. You wanted a job, and I got one for you. Can't solve all your problems with murder scrunners. Really? You don't think in this game world we couldn't do that? <laughs> Pretty sure that's how 90% of the problems are solved. Let's send those leeches packing. You mean it? I've been holding back ever since they took our deed away from us. We've all suffered in silence. So now we're gonna kill him? I'm with you. Now? Well, I finally understood. That dastard landowner. Well, only thing on their mind is how to grow rich and fat off our toil. That's generally how it is. They don't care a whit about what happens to us or our town. 
That's why we gotta take it back. And our lives with it. I'm with you, boss. This is our town. We'll fight for it. <laughs> Thanks, fellas. Now that that's settled, let's hustle on over to that Snake Gifts place. Yeah! This is why when you're an evil overlord, you don't squeeze people too hard, because then they rebel. Make for Griff's Mansa? Where is that? In the mine? He lives in the mine? What a weirdo. Oh, new treasure? Oh, well. <laughs> well, we needed some money. There it is. Check up here real fast. Apparently, it looks like it's expanded a little bit. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I know there's legal things you gotta worry about and all that stuff, but... In this world, in this sort of situation, it's always weird when it's like, well, why don't you just leave? Right? There's clearly not, no, like, real... There's legal system, obviously, right? But, like, there's clearly not, like, law enforcement there. They're clearly just I'm fucking just thugs. So, it's like, you could just leave. They're not gonna chase you, because they're not gonna know what the, where the fuck you went. And then there's also the option of just fucking murdering them. Because, what, you're gonna get arrested by who? There's no guards here! We are the guards! I do like the option of just destroying this mine completely. Like, just blowing it to shits and giggles. So they can't use it anymore. Looks like... Oh, okay. Never mind. I was gonna say, it looks like the top way is actually where we need to go. Can I get any skills yet? Ah, oh, I can! Now, let's see. We just have enough, actually. We get collect. Collect money from a single foe. Ember. Deal fire damage. Donate. Grant BP to another ally. That actually is a great support ability. Dodge one physical attack with 100% success. Pay money to si uh, hired... Hmm, okay. Um, I guess Ember for now. Because we're alone. When we get to a party, donate BP would probably be really good. Um, and collect probably would be good for... Uh, just getting extra money. I would assume, anyways. So, we need to go through here to get to another dungeon, it looks like. Oh, so this... I thought this was a mine. Is this not a mine? Because this definitely looks like outside... And a road. I'm a little confused. I thought this was like a cave mine. Alright. Probably should have stocked up on some healing grapes. So, yeah, this is just another dungeon. The dungeon inside a dungeon. Dungeonception. Oh, there's some healing grapes. That's good to have. Because <laughs> mostly I'm gonna need them. Let's have ourselves a show now. Hi, nice mustache. I'm just getting warm. Well, you're not weak to that? That's bullshit. Yeehaw. Are you weak to this? <laughs> Too obvious. Or Here that's good. You know what's next? <laughs> I'm gonna light you on fire. Ah, damn it. This does the most damage. All in a day's work. Definitely use uh, some more experience points, though. Oh, okay. Interesting. What? Okay, no, we gotta go around. Like this, yes, okay. I'm assuming we need to go upstairs. Bronze shield. Well, bronze is a lot better than wood, and it actually increases our HP, so that's great. There's a save point up there. I'm assuming that's where the boss is. Oh, you are weak to fire. Bring it on. Neat. That's not the skill we wanted. We wanted bow. 
Bow to the bow, the bang to bang diggy. Bring it up. Magic is extremely strong, because even if I charge this, you're still only going to do like a fraction of damage that you could do with the, like, the magic spell. At least it seems that way. My math could be off. I mean, it's probably like 50% extra damage, right? With the spell. It does cost SP, though, because it's a skill. Go through this door. What we can. What a weird room. <laughs> Just, just a small enclosed room with nothing else but one chest in it. That reminds me of like five, like old school Final Fantasy games. So you got a dog? When have I fought you guys? Interesting. You must have been in a different tale, like a chapter. When did we fight thugs? Yeah. Like, we fought a dog before, I know that much. Yeah. I'm gonna need the, the heal. <laughs> to say the least. Probably actually will be dead next turn. Maybe. Two charge with the ember. Probably will do the trick. Yeah. All in a day's work. And we get a level up, so we don't actually have to heal after this. This leather helmet. Guess that is a little bit better than an ordinary hat. We're nowhere near skills, right? No, we got need 78. Uh, a little tad much. Where's the save point? Oh, it's right next to the merchant. Um. No, I think I'm good. Actually, I think I don't need that. Check on it here real fast. All right, so there's no hidden stuff over there. I'm gonna assume there's nothing over here too, but I'm still gonna check because <gasps> egg. Bring it on. Don't want to get egg on your face, but here we go. <gasps> Time for a fried egg. Time to divvy up the onions. I'm not gonna lie, I thought he was gonna say time for a fried egg. I don't know why. It would have been a little bit spooky. Nothing here. Did you see the tears on that fool's face earlier? <laughs> you said it, Giff. Oh, was I supposed to hire one of those dudes? Excuse me, Giff. Huh? Look who it is. I'm moved. I am. Came to give me what you owe me early? Huh. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah, it's stabbed with my spear. And lit on fire. I'm gonna feed you to the town. Oh, they're here. Here. A coin made from our silver. One measly leaf? You trying to insult me? No, I'm not really trying. It's actually not that hard. You're the one insulting it, you rotten scoundrel. Every fortune's made from a pile of these. The little guys. Treat one with contempt and you'll lose them all. That goes for money and for people. That's true. <laughs> what a joke. We've made up our minds, Giff. We're taking our town back. You? A third-rate merchant from the sticks? <laughs> You're just as stupid as your father. Yeah, maybe, but I'll be breathing after this. What did you say?
The original owner of this plot of land retains the right to buy it back at any time they so please. That is such a stupid thing to sign. Like, I I might be going a little hard on old Pap Pap back there, but that the sign that contract with that clause in it is immensely stupid. That bit of fine print wasn't even in the original contract. Oh, okay. So he just got scammed. The landowner slipped it in at a later date. Oh, oh cool. So it's invalid. Your gullible idiot of a father never even noticed. I mean, that still is kind of dumb. Thanks to you, we've lived fat off the hog. Earned ourselves a mine and a bunch of fool miners for next to nothing. <laughs> Your voice sounds familiar. <sighs> that laugh. You're, you're dirty through and through. You tricked my pops and stole everything from us. Yeah, well, too bad. This world, see? It's made so that people with smarts, like me, we win. You've done it. You really, really got my goat. We had a goat? Get ready, Giff. Because we're taking our town back from your dirty mitts. And then I'm sticking your head in that fire back there. You are a lot fatter than I thought you'd be in battle. Wars with a good for him. Yo, where are the other three idiots that were right behind me? They should be here right now. Speaking of fire, here you go, Gift Lackey. Hopefully you die instantly. Oh, you didn't. <laughs> Uh-oh. Take out the trash. You take out the trash. Alright, well, let's... He's only at half health. That's not great. Nice miss. Okay, one down. I will probably heal. When I get down to... What do you think? 130? I'll just heal this turn. How about that? Bring it on. That's rude. Don't mind if I do. Let me sure use that light stone I have. Can I boost that? Good effort. I'm just No, I can't. Okay. Uh I could wait till he's dead though. Take this. Yeah, I'll wait till he's broken, Here not goes. dead, and then I'll use the light stone. You know what? I'll wait for. I'll do that for GIF. I'm just getting warm. He's a good attack, so this guy's almost dead. No, he is dead. <laughs> GIF takes aim. Should I defend? I should probably defend, huh? Oh, yeah, I have rest. Oh, right, I have a rest. Wow. That's a fucking mean attack, man. Right, let's try stabbing. Okay, you are weak to stabbing. Should be careful with that one, because that one seems to, uh... Bring it 
hit a lot. Okay. Uh, should I use Kaioken Fire or Lightstone? Let's use Lightstone. This one's on me. Okay, Fire probably would have been better. Little. <laughs> I'll you dry. Come on, that all you got? It is pretty pathetic. <laughs> Can't believe trash like you was giving me trouble. I have kicked your guys' asses how many times? Hey, morons! Stop slacking off. Get over here and finish this fool. Oh, should I have? <laughs> now you call for help? Fine by me. I'll I should have saved that lightstone, huh? Oh, they're not here. Uh, cool beans. So I get to stab you. Do you know what? I'm gonna rest and then defend. Here goes. And defend. I'll pound you into lemonade. Ow. Two there. That way we have a full charge coming up. Good thing you don't have like accuracy boosting stuff. Uh, once the gauge is full, you can unleash Patricio's light latent ability. It instantly replenishes your BP. Oh, that's cool. I'm gonna rest though. Gotta get my Snorlax on. Okay, so do one of these. Kyle can up to Ember. And then he dies. Go me! Hey, silver. Silver and gold. Now well, put his head in the fire. Made your peace. Oh, wait! Spare my life! No, don't do that! That is a horrible decision! If it's money you want, I got it! Loads of it! See? Well, I mean, I know. I'm gonna take it after I put your head in that fire. Whoa there. Silver. That looks more like gold, actually. So this is where you've been hiding all the coin you swiped from us. We can rebuild our town with this. You won't blame me, right? I was just following orders. That's so. Then fetch your boss. I'd like to have a word. I, I can't do that. No one's ever met him. What? <laughs> Huh. Come to think of it, Pop said he handled the contract and all the negotiations by post. Okay. Neither me nor Pop's ever had a face-to-face. -face. So, Giff, who is this landowner anyway? Should be on the contract. You can't make me talk! It'll be my hide if I do! I'm gonna burn you alive. Too bad for you. It'll be your hide if you don't. I know, right? <laughs> Rock brilliant. The tycoon himself. What? Uh, Mr. Rock. Uh, why? His last name was Brilliant? The man's got a ruthless mind for business. This was his plan all along. You're lying. This has to be some mistake. I'm sure of it. Mr. Rock could never do that to us. He wouldn't. I mean, we're still going to put him in the fire, right? I'll just assume we put him in the fire. Time the store shelves were so well stocked. Life's returning to our little town. Just took eight years. Hey, Greenhorn. 
Hurry up and move this material. Oh, and Dad's no longer dying? Oh, that's convenient. Well, now he can get medicine, Kronos. Yeah, but he was coughing, and that means yes, death. Sir. Oh, is this Gif's twin brother after we burned the other Gif alive at the on the fire? Where they We're have the same work name? You hard until you pay off your debt. You hear? I guess you got a slave out of it. <laughs> I don't know if <laughs> I don't know if that's any better. Oh, uh, excuse me, Mr. Particio, sir. <laughs> Oh, it's that poor lady we, we scammed in the hooking up with that loser. Yeah, thanks. The goofy laugh girl. I'm too busy to be dead. I'm distributing the wealth stolen from us back to the townsfolk. And life's starting to come back to our town. Yeah, it sure is. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. I made arrangements to get the materials you want. Ooh, you're a lifesaver. No, that's a candy. I'm Particio. Hey, Particio. Can we have a talk? Uh, we're talking right now. We're talking now, ain't we? God damn it! <laughs> Just be quiet and follow me for a spell, will you? It's been 16 years since we settled here. We started from nothing and had our fair share of ups and downs. Yeah, you could say that again. Pops, Mr. Rock, he... Uh... I don't give a hoot about Rock no more, son. He left us in the lurch. I don't ever want to see his face again. What if I remove his face, though? Would you like to see it then? Listen. I want you to look to the horizon. You've got a bright future ahead of you. You're gonna be something, if I reckon right. Something too big for this little town to contain, even if it wanted to. Pops? Don't worry about us anymore. We can get along just fine with that. That is highly unlikely. You guys just been staying there the entire boss. time? Particio! No, it's boss. Boss! You've got too much potential for our little town. It'd just go to waste here. I mean, I agree with you on that one. That's why. I want you to hit that dusty trail already. Get along, little chickadee. I think I need to build up some supplies before I do that. Uh, this town's my home. I grew up here. But to be honest, as the day is long, I've wanted to see the world for a while now. I really Ever wanted to go with Rock back when he to Rock took off. Took off and yeah. Left. <laughs> I don't regret staying here, not for an instant. But now, well, I know how painful poverty can be. Boss. We managed to weather our troubles here, even if just barely. But somewhere out there, what about that dude from before we started this that was still like we did not worse. doing too great I want to do what I can for him use my talents to make the world a better place hmm being a merchant ain't just about making bundles of leaves it's the reason why that matters oh yeah I guess I'm proud of you, son. Ah, uh, you really wish you washed Pops. that before you put that back on, like, on my head. I know you don't have any hair, but I wouldn't put it past you having, like, bald lice. Go on, help others like you helped us. 
bring prosperity to all those troubled folks out there. And show up. And the music in this game is fantastic. I, I, how about Get I stab him? Now, Particio. We'll see to the town while you're gone. Yeah, we'll keep it safe and sound. <laughs> this town is just going to be obliterated by the time I get back. Boss, take care out there. Fellas. If you all say so, I got no choice now, do I? Ah, there's always a choice. I'm hitting the road. We should get a different hat while we're out. I'll be back once I eliminate that devil called poverty from the world. Okay, so we're never coming back. Kid, what are you doing? It's like, yeah! Unrealistic dreams! Go! And so, the lofty ambition stirring deep within his breasts, Patricio leaves his hometown behind. Untold thousands across the world suffer from the under the yoke of poverty, and he has vowed to friends and family to help them all. Onwards, this young merchant strides with eager step, excited by the prospect of discovering what's over that distant horizon. Now, don't get me wrong, I wish we could get rid of poverty and shit like that. The world would be a better place. Absolutely. But... I don't know, it's one of those things is like you look at... A campfire with you. What the world is capable of right now and we still haven't done it. Well, that's because of the greedy people in charge of the world, Chronos. I mean, I get it, but... Is that ever gonna change? I don't wanna be like a downer here or a naysayer or whatever, it's just... With all the technological advances we have right now, with all the wealth in the world, with everything there is, and there are still... Homeless, you know, poverty-stricken places in the world. And, like, I'm not even talking about, like, third-world countries. The first-world countries where poverty and homelessness is still a huge thing. It's not like, you know... No, it's about as bad as it has been in the past. So, yeah, I guess it might be down a percentage or here and there, or a few percentages, but it's still pretty bad uh, in the gist of things. The fact that there's any with how advanced we are and how much money and capabilities there are in the world, you'd think we'd be able to get rid of something like that. But we haven't. So, unless there's a huge change in mentality when it comes to the people that make the decisions in the world, uh, it's probably never gonna change, right? Uh, anyways, I'm looking forward to sharing a campfire with you guys. Okay. Your party is full. You're like to replace the sixth party member? I... No? You can also see, yeah. So I cannot change party members on the fly. I have to go to the tavern. Okay. That kind of stinks, but I think that was like that in the first game too. Um, all right. Can I steal from you, Pop Pop? I can also beat you up. That kind of is funny. Hire for cheap. Great. Um, Traveler's Mantle. A resistant nut. Um, yeah, we're good for right now. A little low percentage wise. But all right, that is it for this episode. Thank you for watching. I will see you all next time. Have a great day. Bye.